Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Today we have Abzan Agro versus Martyr Midrange in our Pioneer AI versus AI Tournament. So we're going to look at the decks right now. Just going to do a little scroll through the deck list. We've got some Siege Rhino, Voice of Resurgence, a bunch of cards here. Um, well, it's a midrange deck, so a bunch of creatures. Um, removal spells and stuff, so. Looks like we got a pretty good Abzan deck here. Here's the land base. And then for our Mardu midrange deck, we have Glorybringers, some Seraph of the Scales, Magmatic Channelers, cares about instants and sorceries, which looks like there's a ton of, some burn, some removal, okay, and some Planeswalkers, so pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we have a 4 to 3 creature ratio for our Abzan aggro deck, and we have a... 3 to 4 spell ratio for our Mardu midrange deck. Temple Garden is going to come in tapped because, you know, which it should since there is no turn 1 play. Planes for the Mardu deck. Temple Garden is going to, or in Woodland Cemetery is going to enter the battlefield. Uh, we're going to see a Luminar Exp uh, Aspirant. Castle Ardenvale for our Mardu mid-range deck. Luminar Aspirant is going to get in for 2 damage. Voice of Returnage is going to come down. And then it's like we get a Blood Crypt tapped for the Mardu mid-range deck. Draws a Planes, I believe. It's going to play that Planes. Putting a counter on the Luminar Aspirant. Getting in for 5 there. Putting down the Mardu mid-range deck to 13 but then we're going to get a lightning helix effect off the siege rhino putting him down to 10. looks like next turn is going to be pretty dangerous but they do get to heartless act that creature or that, that siege rhino. Fatal push as well is going to take care of the lumara aspirant. All we got now is a voice of resurgence. It still does not look good for this deck. There's an, an offense of the foremost which is going to I'm guessing end of the battlefield yes and a Warden of the First Troop. Lightning Strike is going to take out, well, it's going to hit Anafenza. Double Lightning Strike is going to take out Anafenza. Needle Spiders for the Mardu midrange deck. Some late game tax there. If it, in case it goes that far, but I don't think it's going to. Um, putting down the Mardu midrange deck 2-3 with an Anafenza to follow up. Got a glory bringer though, it's gonna enter the battlefield. This is a blocker, and there's not much this deck can do. One of the first three is gonna become a 3 3. Um, I believe it already was. And Fence is gonna put counters on stuff, and then we're gonna see the end of the game one here. And we're gonna get into game two. Looks like we got a mulligan to six here for the Avzan midrange deck. We got a Swamp in a forest, next to planes, or a uh, fatal push, not planes, Abzan Charm, Abrupt Decay, and Luminar Aspirant, and a 4 to 3 ratio hand for the Mardu midrange deck. We're going to see a Triome from the Mardu midrange deck. Swamp's going to come in, holding up fatal push, if there's any creatures that comes out, which there are not, as there are none in hand. Forest is going to enter the battlefield. I would have played the courtyard, but it is what it is. I'm playing our Luminar Aspirant, but okay. Uh, another Triumph going to enter the battlefield. Courtyard. It's going to come in. And Offense of the Foremost is going to come in as well. The Heartless Act is going to take that out. And it looks like we have a Sacred Foundry tapped. And the History of Banalia is going to enter the battlefield, putting a 2 2 Knight with Vigilance into play. Abrupt Decay is going to take out the uh, History of Benalia, the Saga, and Fiddle Push is going to take out that Knight, so it looks like Abzan Midrange is, you know, doing Abzan Midrange stuff, taking out stuff. Um, then we got a Shambling Vent as the draw, or maybe that was a Blood Crypt, not sure completely, but we do have a Glory Bringer, which is going to come in and attack in for four, not exerting, of course. Because there are no creatures on the other side as of yet, but Wandering Empire, Emperor, I, I've said that a bunch of times, is going to create a samurai. 
Uh, we'll see if the Glory Bringer cares to take it out or not for the Mardu mid-range deck. Lightning Strike is going to take out the Emperor. Fatal Push is going to take out the Samurai. And Glory Bringer is going to get in for four. Looks like the Mardu mid-range deck might be getting a win here if the Abzan deck can't do anything. But we do have an Abzan Charm, which can take care of that Glory Bringer, which it will. Ward in the first string to follow it up. But there's another glory bringer, and it's going to exert itself to kill that ward in the first tree. But there's a luminar aspirant for, for the follow-up play here for the Abzan mid-range deck. It's in the outfield, and then pass in the turn. Looks like we've got a crackling doom. And looks like they get to sacrifice that creature. While well, Glory Bringer does not go to attack because it was exerted. And there's a fatal push. Which can't do anything against Glory Bringer. Shambling Vent is going to become a creature though. Which Fatal Push can take care of. And Glory Bringer is going to get in for four, putting the maps and mid-range deck down to two. And it's very, very close, and now um, basically determined. Or, um, yeah, that's the word for the Mardu Bidrange deck to take it to game two or three. Looks like we got a Mulligan to six for the Mardu Midrange deck, Godless Shrine and a Triome, along with four different spells. And we have the Amazon Midrange deck, going to play a Godless Shrine tapped uh, with one land left in hand and a bunch of spells and two creatures. Looks like we're going to get a Triome, turn one. It looks like we're going to be getting possibly a Warden of the First Tree here. But no, Assassin's Trophy is going to destroy their land, giving them a mountain as the Marty Minion Jet got to search. Unsure if the AI is good at searching for what land they need. Um, I'd assume they get the land they have the least of or don't have. Ward in the first tree is going to end the battlefield, but I think we're going to see a fatal push or a heartless act. And we do see a heartless act taking out that creature. Passing the turn to the abs and mid range deck. I'm not even clicking the step, I'm clicking the Windows search bar. Um, swamp, I believe, is where it just ended the battlefield. Yes. And we're going to have three Fatal Pushes held up for the Mardu Midrange deck. But it looks like both, both decks there have these held up. So, um, I swear there's another Fatal Push. <laughs> I don't know. Might have been the same things. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a Temple Garden un or, or tapped. Lightning Strike is going to just burn out. The Abzan deck, which looks like might be a decent plan, but I would have saved that um, for a creature, you know, like Kalidus or. But um, Lightning Strike is going to take care of the Wandering Empire, but it does create a Samurai Tycoon first. Passing the turn to the modern, or modern, Mardu Midrange deck. Again, I'm trying to improve my commentary, I apologize. Crackling Doom is going to take out the Human Samurai. Passing the turn back to Abzan Midrange, who draws a planes, plays it. I'm assuming we're going to get a Kalidas here, Trader of Get, which if a token, if a non-token creature an opponent controls would die, instead exile the card and put a 2-2 zombie on the battlefield. So there's three put up fatal pushes in hand, but looks like Crack, Crackling Doom is going to take care of Kalidas before that those kill spells could create any zombies. Tyler's Tracker for the draw. I'm sure we're going to see that though, as we're going to see an offense of the foremost. Passing the turn, looks like we're going to get a Surf of the Suns or Scales here uh, post combat. Anafenza might attack. Uh, looks like no. Tyler's Tracker is going to end the battlefield and passing the turn. Other end is going to take care of Anna, Anna Fenza the foremost. 
uh, Seraph of the Scales uh, is going to gain Vigilance, but not before, or yeah, before, but, but it, uh, Fatal Push will take out that Seraph. Although they do get two Spirit Tokens, I believe, with Flying, yes. So, we'll see if they're going to double Fatal Push those. Looks like we got one Fatal Pushed. We get a Clue Token there for a land drop. Title Tracker is going to get in there, passing the turn back to the Mardu deck after he cracks a clue and plays a Luminar Aspirant post combat. Fatal Push is going to take out that creature. And Spirit, I assume, is going to get in for two here as we got a Soren Solemn Visitor, but it looks like we're going to put a Vampire into the battlefield instead, which is probably the right play. Yes. Passing the turn back to the Abzan Aggro deck, which, or I think it's Abzan Midrange actually, <laughs> um, is what it's called. Uh, Luminar Aspirant, gonna end the battlefield. Fatal Push taking out that, that vampire. Vampire, yes, of course, Soren. Tyler Tracker is gonna take out Soren. Passing the turn, looks like we got some lands, uh, land drawn there. But, Marty Midrange is going to put the Amazon deck down to 9 with no cards in hand for them. And a land drop there. We'll see a clue token cracked, I think. They get in for a lot of damage there, putting them down to 12. Cracked a clue, I would have done that, you know, to get, you know, one more damage in, but it is what it is. Amazon Charm is going to take a risk and put, um, lose some life there. Gotta be careful with that as they are at 7. Although both decks seem to be a little bit land flooded. Uh, putting down the Abzan deck to 4 with a Shambling Vent. And History of Benalia is going to end the battlefield and make a 2 2 Knight token. And it's okay, we'll do the same next turn. If it survives, which it looks like it will, as we draw a Voice of Resurgence. But the Tyler's Tracker and the Voice of Resurgence is going to get in. Knight Token is going to block the Voice of Resurgence, which is going to create a 3-3 Elemental Token. But we do have a Flyer, which is a problem for the Abzan deck, but I don't think it's really going to matter. There's a bunch of creatures on, a bunch of big creatures on the other side for the Abzan deck. That can easily take out the Marta Midrange deck if there's no creatures played. It looks like we got a Seraph of the Scales. Get end of the battlefield. Um, we're gonna see what the Abzan deck draws, and they draw a abrupt decay, which I believe is gonna take care of that history banalia. Yes, it does. Um, it looks like we're gonna get a clue token from that land drop. Aspirant's gonna put a counter on our now 10 9 Tyler Ghost Tracker, which I believe is going to not attack. We're going to get a clue token cracked, a ward in the first tree, which I'm assuming is going to do some leveling up here. Passing the turn. Uh, Vigilance for the Seraph of the Scales. So that's going to be lethal here. There's no flyers in play for the Azam midrange deck. That 11-10 Tyler Tracker is not going to be able to get the job done. Seraph of the Scales and the Spirit Token get in, in the air, end of the game with a victory for the Mardu Rindrange deck.